morning, Toby Johnson. I'm Sanjita, and it's First Things First period on May 1st, 2020. That means it's time for First Things First on TJTV. I'm Allison. Remember to check Google Classroom frequently, if not daily, to see if your teachers have posted any new assignments or announcements. You should also check Synergy often in case your teachers have sent you emails or if they have updated grades. Don't forget to fill out your daily attendance form for each of your classes this term. The attendance form should be turned into Google Classroom to your teachers by 12 p.m. every weekday. With all of our free time during shelter in place, it's easy to get bored. We thought of a book that you guys would find interesting and could read. We recommend reading Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. His story features Percy Jackson, a good kid who doesn't know the truth about his family. His mother eventually tells him about his father, who is a Greek god, and sends him off to Camp Half-Blood, a camp for demigods. There he meets friends and sets off on an adventure. If you're still looking for something fun to do, we've got you covered. Let's head over to a preview of a fun craft tutorial that we'll be showing you next week. Hi everybody, I'm Allison, and if you're into crafts, keep listening, because next week I'm going to be showing all of you how to make DIY origami stars. All you'll need are thin strips of paper. No tape, glue, or adhesive is needed. So if you're interested, stay tuned next Friday. If you found the origami stars craft interesting, you'll probably also want to check something else out. Next Friday, May 8th, we'll also be showing how to make a paper airplane. Make sure to watch Friday's show for the Origami Stars and Paper Airplane tutorials. In early February, the TJTV staff had submitted a special episode to the Student Educational Video Awards, also known as the SEVAs. Do you want to know who the winner of the school news category is? And the winner was... Toby Johnson Middle School. That's right. Why don't we check out the special episode we submitted? My Hyper Scout Studio is things to talk about. Good morning, Jags. Today, we're talking about respect. I'm Ayla. I'm Sanjitha. I'm Erin. I'm Victoria. And I'm Jaya. We have a lot of things to talk about, so let's get started. Well, what is respect, and how do we show it? Sanjitha, do you know? Well, to me, respect is something that you can show to your peers. Hey, Erin, what do you think? Well, I don't know what respect means, but I think we should show it through our campus and community. What do you think, Victoria? I think respect is being kind to your peers and having a positive attitude. What do you think, Jaya? Well, I think respect is just simply saying good morning to your peers and teachers. Respect is a really big word here at Toby Johnson, with its own important meaning to it too. Respect is one of our PBIS words, along with safe, kind, and responsible. Speaking of respect, today's question of the day is about respect. Let's go to Allison for more. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines respect as giving someone high or special regard. But what does respect mean to students here at TJMS? Respect means to me it's as if you're giving the attention or something that a person needs. Like a public speaker wants the attention of its audience. Um, respect means like, you know, respecting your elders or not talking back to them. Respect means to me when you admire somebody and you listen to what they have to say. Respect means being modest and kind to other people. Well, growing up, respect has always been like respect your elders. So I lived by that for a very long time, but that doesn't mean like don't respect people who are younger than you. You should respect everyone and like care for everyone. With respect being one of Toby's main focus words, it's great to hear that students know what it means. Thanks, Allison. Let's go to the backyard with Allison and Sienna for more. Hey, Sienna, do you want to know something crazy? Sure. California is all about agriculture, right? Yeah. Well, did you know that the agriculture industry in California is worth $47.1 billion? Whoa, I also found something pretty interesting about farming. Did you know that California produces 99% of some of the nation's crops? Some of them are figs, olives, and almonds. 
That's insane. But if you think about it, those numbers wouldn't even be possible without farmers. Yeah, they're the ones that plant, water, and harvest all the produce we eat. Speaking of agriculture, let's go to Harpreet for more information about the Elk Grove Farmer's Market. The Elk Grove Farmer's Market is held every Saturday from 8 to 12 p.m. Farmers from all over Northern California come to sell their produce. Sacramento has a region of roughly 1.5 million acres of farmland, which grows produce full of vitamins and nutrients that are fresh and healthy. Farm to fork means to me that the food is fresh. It's something that was grown and picked um, recently because California, Sacramento is the farm to fork capital. Well, farm to fork would mean that it's uh, locally grown, locally processed, and then sold locally. So you get the very freshest ingredients into any meal. And this would be pasture to platter, maybe. Farm to Fork is a very important part of the farmer's market. Come and support your local farmers. Don't forget, it's open every Saturday. Reporting for TJTV, I'm Herpreet. Since we're talking about respect, I think it's really important that we show respect to all the farmers and laborers that put food on our plates. So next time you take a bite of a carrot or any other produce, Take a moment to appreciate that we live in the farm to fork capital of the nation. And how lucky we are to have such a great farmer's market in our community. Thanks, Allison, Sienna, and Herpreet. Don't forget to go to the farmer's market to get the freshest produce. Yesterday, there was a march for a dream parade to honor Martin Luther King Jr. Let's go to Brielle for more on this story. Monday, January 20th was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. At Sacramento City College, there was a March for the Dream Parade to honor and celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday and him giving rights to everyone no matter their color. His actions were a big part of the human rights movement as it still affects our society today, where everyone has a voice. So why are you participating in this parade today? Well, I think it's very important that we keep the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King alive. Uh, his spirit, his dream uh, was a dream for me that my parents also had for me and I want to make sure that it is kept alive for my grandchildren and, and for all, the, all, the, all people. So why are you participating in this parade today? So the city of Elk Grove is the sixth most racially diverse city in the nation. So we fully support diversity, inclusion, and having the community come together as one. So we really wanted to come out and show our support for the city of Sacramento and our community as a whole. So why are you guys participating in this parade today? Um, so uh, personally, I thought it would be a good idea to participate because we should all be doing our part to keep the dream alive every day and you know um, being able to see everyone come together like this really gives me hope. So, yeah. um, well if you know so we're all part of City Year and this is one of the volunteer services options we can pick and so I, I think his uh, Martin Luther's uh, like dream really it's important. Uh, yeah we're all part of City Year so we're dedicating a year of service to the city so participating here honoring the MLK was a perfect opportunity for us. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. This march is bringing the community together to cherish the special day of Martin Luther King's achievements and his influential actions as a civil rights leader. Reporting to TJTV, I'm Brielle Dam. Thanks, Brielle. Martin Luther King Jr. made a huge impact on our society today. It's amazing how he continues to motivate people to show respect to one another. We'll continue this conversation after this quick break. R E S P E C T. Fear not, I'm here to help. You're gonna help me save my chips? Yeah, I just learned a new hack on TikTok. Really? Show me, show me. All right, all you have to do is fold it three times down and then flip it over. Fold the sides in, bring it towards you, and flip the outside inside out. And now your chips won't fall out of the bag. Wow, great chip person. You're welcome. <laughs> My chips! R E S P E C T. The theme for our team's display cases is respect. Our art and home ec teacher worked together to make it special. Sanjita put together a report to show us more. Miss Albiani put together cases that are all about respect. One of our PBIS words. 
The display cases were set up around the school to represent respect. What better person to show respect than Aretha Franklin? Aretha Franklin covered the song Respect, which soundtracked the civil rights movement. She had an impressive four octave range and was able to win an astonishing 25 Grammy Awards. Mr. Shiland drew a portrait of Aretha Franklin that is shown in the displays. Respect means to me, treating others like you'd want to be treated. Uh, I think this song kind of transcended how women should be treated as well, so I think that's why it's very important. Uh, I wanted to use the song Respect, and it is uh, an, an Aretha Franklin song, so I thought we could also tie into Black History Month, which is February. Students wrote notes saying what they think respect is and how we can show it. You can show respect by being kind to one another and like when someone is like hurt or down or anything, you can always help them and be a friend to them. Make sure to show respect to everyone in your community. Reporting for TJTV, I'm Sanjeeva. Nice job, Sanjeeva. Respect means treating things nicely and treating other people how you want to be treated. I think that respect means thinking about the people around you and behaving in a way that is mindful of your impact on others. I think respect means being considerate of other people's feelings and treating them the way you would like to be treated. How long do you think Brielle was running? I think about a minute. Oh, got a minute? I know we got a minute. Then we've got time for cake. Let's learn how to make a delicious banana cake from Pauline Mentura. Yum, that looks amazing. I'd love to have a piece of that cake while reading my favorite book. There are so many books out there. Let's go to Allison to learn more. Hey there, I'm Allison. I just found some great books. Do you want to hear more about them? In Restart by Gordon Corman, Chase falls off of a roof. When he wakes up, he can't remember anything, even his own name. When he returns to school, he's teased and bullied. I also found Wonder by R.J. Palacio. It's about August Pullman, who has a rare condition that gives him a facial deformity. He then has to decide who his real friends are. Make sure you check out these great reads. Well, it's been fun talking with you guys about respect today. Same. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Things, things to, to talk, talk about. about. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll, with more things to talk about. Bye. Bye.
the TJTV staff is extremely proud of accomplishment. We couldn't have done this without Mrs. LaChapelle, the TJTV staff, and all of our hard work. Speaking of awards, let's go to Mrs. Kincaid and Mrs. Zhu for this week's virtual Jag Swag poll. It is virtual Jag Swag time, people. May 1st! It's already May! Can't even believe it! It's gonna be May! <laughs> Isn't May 1st May Day? Yeah, it is. But uh, Justin Timberlake has totally changed it with, it's gonna be May. Oh, I, my. I can't stop singing it. <laughs> wow. I mean, that is amazing coming from you. Like all the singing. Yeah. Okay. Hey, why don't you tell us how many uh, Jagswag students have earned this week? So total entire entire school virtual Jag Swag submitted by teachers, 1,450 Jag Swags. So we are going to kick off with the Aggie 7. Aggie 7, um, 363 were submitted. That's Ms. right. And we're going to go to number 283, Marin Matuska. I thought it was Matsuka. Oh, well, we'll be able to find you, Marin. Yeah. I know it. Yeah. I know it. And um, it looks like her teacher, Miss um, Ganser. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So she fun. Okay. Oh, you are. Oh, my gosh, Marin. Not only are you winning right now, but you were um, the Kahoot winner for Fun Friday. Yeah. I think that's cool. So pizza coming to their family. Okay. And sticker pack going to. Number 216, Nicholas Beal, and that's from Miss Bastion. She's Miss Bastion. I think this is three weeks in a row that you've won. And it looks like uh, Beal, great job getting all of your work in on time. Oh, so responsible. Yeah. Super hard to do in this distance learning environment, I'll tell you that. Let's move on to Aggie's 8. Uh, 201, 201 virtual Jag Swags who are – and there, random.org has chosen a number. And it looks like Jacob Colvard from Miss Otani. Ah, uh, Miss Otani. She is a repeat winner as well. Uh, thanks for keeping up in math class, super. Yeah, pizza for their family. And getting a sticker pack, number 167, is Hunter Harris. Oh, I love a good alliteration. And Hunter Harris, you are after my heart because I was Hannah Hudler until I got married and became Hannah Kincaid, but that's awesome. Well, Miss Bradley was the one who gave that one, and it looks like Hunter was really responsible and helped correct a wrong answer. Okay, congratulations, Hunter. Yeah, that's Bear cool. Seven. 53 were turned in for Bear Seven. And number 41 is winning a pizza. Miss Clarine gave it to Miranda Gong. Oh my gosh, Miss Clarine uh, has one every week, and um, Miranda. If my memory serves me, I think you've won too. But I, I don't know. I well, number, four, number four is getting a pizza pack, and that's Miss Clarine again, but Yol Tesve. Yol. And P.S., Yol, you're not getting a pizza pack. You're getting a sticker pack for sure. Oh, well, maybe, maybe there's a pizza-shaped sticker in there. Maybe. I you mean, know what? Okay. He's fine if I said something wrong because it looks like he's a kind kid. So uh, I'm going to point okay. that out. All right, Bears 8. 18 submissions for Bears 8. Let's Ooh. see. Well, let's put them all on the, the screen then so they can all see. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Number 11, Janelle Nguyen. All right. Janelle, given by Miss Clarine. Sticker pack going to McKenna Kikamoto. Mm. Surprise, surprise, Clarine there. All right. <laughs> Miss Crane's all over it. All right. So we are now into Hornet 7, 156 entries. Let's see what our Hornets are doing. 110. Aileen Bustillo Valencia. Oh. That's one of my kids. Okay. Well, performing in your class as well as Rashid. Rashid. All right. Although, with her email address, I always want to say Dr. Ashid. Dr. Ashid. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So pizza packet going, pizza going there. And the yeah. sticker pack is going to 
115, Nolan Manawa. Oh, you know what? He was a, um, he also was a big prize winner, Mrs. So he won the Chromebook. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lucky kid. And you know yeah. what? Super responsible. So that's rad. Yeah. And um, gosh, I'd want to sit next to him. Good luck. Hornets eight. Looks like we're going to 192 on that one. All right. And number 140 is winning the pizza. And number 140 is Abrish Kaylee. All right. Abrish. And that's Mrs. Hart. Okay. And our sticker, sticker pack. pack. I think I like alliteration too because I always want to say Pete's pack. Sticker pack is going to Mikey Mubako. All right. Mikey. Also Miss Hart. Wow. Okay. Miss Hart was definitely submitting names this week. Well, we do like to recognize our teachers because they're being respectful and kind in recognizing their students. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tiger 7. Looks like we're going up to 278 on this one. Tag 7. Um, you know, I had a voice-to-voice -voice conversation with Miss Fultz, so I'm betting she has a lot of it's me it's no, me no. <laughs> yes and gabriel murio is um going to be getting the pizza mm, mm, mm. Mm. yeah that's pretty rad okay. all right gabriel and then the second winning the sticker pack is oh, 64 that's Fultzy. <laughs> yeah <laughs> dina boy boy i love it is this oh. the third sticker pack for miss Fultz? Yeah, but it's like the fifth or sixth win. And I can tell you right now, she is screaming. <laughs> she Happy is May screaming. Day, folks. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Tigers, eight. Okay, let's see. We're going up to 188. Yeah, 188. On the That's tiger. pretty lucky, all those eights. Oh, 71. Okay. And that is Kyla Sanders Harris. RWD. Miss Welch Daniels. She won last week too. She got, I think she won a sticker pack. So that's cool. And the sticker pack this week is number 16. And that is going to Noah Hostetler from Mr. Pesci. All right. Mr. Pesci loves to win and is super competitive. So he's going to be jazzed that he's a winner this week. But well, anyway. I think this was a great week. Oh, absolutely. And uh, just to let you know, I, Aggie 7, anybody who's listening for Aggie 7, when I looked at the um, spreadsheet, I had to add a thousand more rows to their spreadsheet. Yeah, so. crazy time. Like if we look here, they've had 1,013 names over the last three weeks. That's, That's really amazing. impressive. I hope uh, students are hearing about how amazing they're doing. We know this is a difficult time and can be challenging. So way to go students. Yeah. Thanks for being responsible, respectful, safe, and kind. Yeah. Bye, Always Mrs. Kincaid. Bye, Miss Zhu. See you next week. Congratulations to all the winners of this week's prize pool. Remember to stay safe, kind, respectful, and responsible. And that wraps it up for today's show. Tune in Monday for more stories and information on First Things First on TJTV. I'm Sanjitha. Thanks for watching. And I'm Allison. Stay safe and take care, everyone.